Well, hello friends, welcome to Maria's Masalni, where in this video I am excited to be participating once again in the Smash That Small Paper Pad collaboration that is hosted by Deb Haug's Crafty Cottage. And basically you just take uh, whatever paper pad you have, as long as it is smaller than 12 by 12, and try to smash it. Now, I do have a lot of uh, little paper pads that are in storage. I cannot wait to get to those. But with me here, I, I'm, I'm living in a small apartment for the next few months, and uh, which feels like forever. <laughs> so I don't have all of my supplies with me, but I do have a lot of supplies with me. And um, so I decided to pull out these little paper pads that I picked up at Michael's for $2 in, on clearance a while back. Now, I have already used up a lot of these uh, papers, and they may not even be like uh, all together with their pads. I think I may have used this the cover to this pad uh, already. It was, I think, feeling naughty, N-A-U-T-I, like nautical, you know? That was really cute. Um, I don't know if I have the cover for that one here, but, and they're kind of mixed up, but these are what I want to smash um, and use up. They're such pretty papers. Okay, so we have the uh, Love Letters collection. And these are the four and a half by seven papers. Now, some of these make nice uh, pages in journals or journal cards, large journal cards as is. But I'm going to get them further prepared to either put in journals or, you know, make something out of them. So I have the love letters. I have the spring posies, which is this right here. Garden Dreams. This this had a lot of uh, gold and stuff in it. I love those butterflies. Okay, this is from the feeling feeling naughty, uh, naughty <laughs> uh, pad. I don't know if I have the cover. I just already said that. Did I repeat myself? I sure did. This one also. I don't know if I have the cover to this one. Um, but it's a bunch of just little flowers. It's really cute. And some of the paper, it's kind of like uh, shiny. And uh, yeah, really glossy, but that's okay. So um, I'm going to work on smashing this pad. Now, one of the things that I love to do with something like this, and I already have a bunch of these made somewhere here, maybe in the next um, video, next month, I will show you all together. Um, I just couldn't find them right now. But one of the things I like to do is just go ahead and, for example, take this. You see I already rounded the corners. They did not come rounded like that. And then just, for example, the, the design is going up, right? Just fold it in half. And this makes a nice either thin card or a bookmark or a belly band that can go in a journal. And... Um, if I want to use it as a belly band, I could leave it, you know, like this. So it's a belly band that opens up. Or I could cut this and have two belly bands, right? So I haven't decided what I want to do with this. And I'll have my bone folder handy. All I really have with me is um, scissors cutter. I've got some trims with me off the side if I want to embellish right now. But I think right now I just want to grab a bunch of these and fold them. And that's a start. And then maybe next time I will embellish them a little bit if, uh, if I don't have time to do that now. Again, I already rounded the corners. These are like ready-made cards. I, I love to do this. I do this a lot. <laughs> and um, I believe I did this with the last paper pad that I smashed. I made a whole bunch of little cards, but then I also made envelopes for them. So for this, there's not necessarily a way to make an envelope for these cards unless you make a really smaller card. So, and I don't think I want to do that, especially with some of these glossy ones. I think I just want to make little cards out of them. So, okay, this one, the design feels like it's going this way, but even, see like these little tulips are going that way, but it could even be a card that opens up like that. So... That's all I'm going to do is basically fold cards in half, round the corners, and have a stack of these. And then maybe I'll come back with some 
uh, my stack of embellishments and embellishment. So for now, uh, I'm going to work on doing this. And uh, see, this has to be cut over here. And I'll just speed this up. And let's see how many I get done. just did it just took me quite a little while there to uh, basically just cut off the tops of all of the papers and this I am going to trash um, because it's just you know little tiny really slivers so that is going in my little trash can next to me here okay um, but I wanted to show you some other little bits I'm going to keep together because they may come in handy either for embellishing or I don't know yet. Uh, for example, this, I might decide to cut that strip off or I might just put a little embellishment or a word or something here and that this would make a really cute little tag. Um, I haven't rounded the corners yet because I haven't decided if, um, uh, I'm going to make it, you know, a, a little mini journaling card or if I want to cut off, you know, little corners for the for tag. Same thing here. I may want to cover this or this and then there would be a little, you know, something here. Could be a little pocket somewhere, you know, glued this way and then embellished covering this stuff up. Um, so these little strips, again, this uh, I wouldn't use any any of this, but I might, you know, this is a nice little strip. I might just use this, uh, use it as a base for something, maybe as a base for an embellished paper clip or something like that. You know, I could just fold this in half. So I'll probably do that with this one since I'm doing it. Fold it in half, tuck a paper clip in here, glue it, and then embellish this side, and that's an embellished paper clip. So all these little bits can, uh, that's actually a good idea for these little bits. I mean, that would be a cute little paper clip, right? So, I don't know. But I didn't want to throw these bits out because, again, the back is nice white cardstock. 
and I might still be able to get something out of these. So I have this set of things, and then I have these little pieces that I've already folded, or these were the, the um, covers from the pads that, again, I thought just like that, they looked like little collage tags, you know, because it has a little piece from each paper and such. Again, I haven't rounded the corners yet because I haven't decided if that's what I'm going to do with it or if I want to make a tag, you know, whatever. And even this little top right here, love letters, that's beautiful. I might keep that. I might put a ribbon up here. I might cover that. I don't know. But these are just all bases right now. So I'm not saying I've smashed this pad yet. I'm just, I have just prepped it today. Oh, and these I separated out because these little, um, embellishments or little journaling cards I thought would be really cool to make a quick card out of these that coordinate so I don't know that the flowers here are going this way so I probably wouldn't do this one just leave that here um, these they all kind of seem to go up that way okay so this is more uh, you could get away with it going this way even though it does seem like the designs go up you can kind of get away with it because it's so busy is there another one yeah there's this other one again the design is going up this way and see if I fold this in half you don't have enough room to really embellish it I was thinking something like this but I don't like the design going sideways. Let's see if there's another paper that will coordinate with this. So these were from the same pad. I think I had some others from that pad. Let's see. Yeah. This. I think the butterflies. That might work out. And was this from that pad? See, now I've got them all mixed up, so I don't, don't know. That was definitely from that pad. And I believe this was too. The little butterflies and maybe these. And even if they weren't, I think they would coordinate okay. And even these butterflies. I like these, but they might be good to cover. Okay, so let me see. So basically, I just want to take one of these and put them. Is that too much with the butterflies? Might be better with this one. So a little succulent garland there, or a little, not succulent, but like a dome. That's golden there. And then butterflies around. I think that will work. So I'm going to make a little card out of this one. And since the corners are rounded here, I'm going to go ahead and round the corners here. And do I want to map that further? I think I'm just going to do that. Where is my glue? I think I might take something from here. Maybe that little strip, green strip right here. Let's see how that looks. Kind of like that. Just just add something and kind of cover a little bit of that glue there. And I think I'm just going to put a little glue on the corners and I might even decide to tuck something in there. So for now, that's going to be it like there. And do I want to put, see there's some words up here says hello darling and make today beautiful I think I want to use one of those I 
how about make the day beautiful? There, the position, I don't know what I'm going to do, or make me go over or here. How about there? Yep, and leave the top as is. I think I like that. So it's a little strip there. Okay. And there's a little card. Okay, so that's pretty finished. I mean, I could still add something else to it if I wanted to, but that's pretty finished. So I'll put it there and then have a good time. Again, I'm liking butterflies because I love butterflies. Yes, I think that looks good there. It's busy, busy, but it's a different busy here than there. And here, well, let me look at it against these. Do you like that better? Uh, you know what? I like the, even though it's busy, I like this because it's, it feels like contrast to me. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I'm sticking my finger out because I have glue on it still. It hasn't dried, so I don't want to get glue on this. <laughs> so let's round out the corners. My corner rounder keeps doing this. I had a crocodile corner rounder. I don't know what, what happened to it. Well, it fell and broke. Uh one side worked and the other one didn't so i was still using it but i don't think i threw it away i think it's just probably packed up in storage somewhere but i want to get another one i'm looking for a really good sale or coupon because i really like it but like i said it broke and this little corner rounder I've had for a long time. It served me well. And I'm still using it. But you know that crop without. And I think that corner is a little bit different to the, the round. It's a little bit different. Okay. And I'll just leave that one like that. And I think there was one more. Yep. There was one more. But I am going to. Yeah. The bunny. Um... This might go well with this here, where it says, hello, darling, right in there. But I think I'm going to leave that for the next time. Um, I got to get running here and make some dinner. So I am just going to go ahead and put all these in a little box. This is, these are the paper pads I'm smashing. None of them were complete, so I'm kind of trying to smash what's left of all of these little four and a half by seven paper pads. This is pretty much complete. These are still pieces that I'm working on. These I did not want to split up until I was ready to use them. So I'm just going to put, um, I'll probably organize these into baggies and, um, you know, the little bits and put them aside so that I can, uh, work on it next time. But yeah, for now, thank you for joining me during this session of Smash That Small Paper Pad collaboration. Please definitely check out everyone in the description below because they will be posting videos for this collaboration today. And this is a monthly collaboration that comes out on the 25th of the month um, in the morning. And uh, I hope you, like I said, you enjoyed and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.